Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World today. Last night we had a great stream. It was a lot of fun. We uh, worked on some more of the castle, did a little bit of server exploration, that sort of thing. Even had a little bit of a PvP fight, kind of, with some uh, sharp shooting with the bow. So if you get a chance to go look on the uh, recording that's on twitch.tv slash tinker77live, you can catch up on that. But what we did uh, was try to work on the castle, mostly on the interior, and then I... Uh, after about three hours of streaming, uh, left and uh, it was left with Kent and Thomas working on the castle. And uh, I can already see there's a change, and I can't see the rest of it. But if you look, I told them I wanted a portal up the top of a tower. So it looks like there's a portal up there. So let's take a look from over here. So I see the beginnings of a tower. Looks like we got some roof in. It looks really nice. I like that color. So yeah, let's go check out what they did. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see this. So while I'm walking over here, if you're liking Tinker World, please click that like button. Likes are helping out a lot. Also, uh, between yesterday and today, I wonder what that is. This is new too. Uh, anyway, between yesterday and today, we have uh, crossed the 300 mark on the subscriber list. That's great. So I appreciate that. Thank you everybody for uh, subscribing. That's uh, very, very helpful. That's interesting looking. I'm not sure what that is or why. Okay, let's go on in here. One of the things I wanted to do, and I don't know if I'll get to it today. I know this is mismatched, but uh, I want to see if I can get some sort of doorway here to prevent monsters from coming in. Now, there's a stairway here. I'm not so sure if I like the stairway yet um, from the ground floor. I think I want to have the stairway that I have normally go to second floor and then from there we get to the tower but I mean I like what they're trying to do here that looks pretty cool uh, we worked on the rooms making little uh, rooms remember how I had the slabs on the ground we've uh, made various rooms here I did a lot of that on the stream hearing monsters There's a zombie in my base not anymore he's dead um, yeah, so that's some of the stuff that I did. Yeah, I don't really... That's neat and all, but I think I'd like to have this open area. Um, anyway, so we made all the rooms, and then you go up to here, second floor, and this kind of wasn't done much uh, when I left. Uh, Thomas was working on kind of making the rooms out here, which he's done. And they look really cool, and then when I was leaving Kent was only like two or three blocks worth high for this and I believe this is the center tower and I like how it comes up in the center here I just don't I don't think I like this I think um, I don't know I have to figure this point out but it goes up pretty high that hurt my head I'm thinking about putting in an elevator for this and maybe going even higher uh, making this a lot higher so I'm going to probably uh, take out the nether portal, um, go some higher up, and then make up a room uh, uh, way up high. So let me uh, go get what I need for resources. I've got kind of full here. I want to try to put some of this away. Also, uh, yes, that brings me up another point. The storage system works great mostly, but for some reason I've got a backlog of items stuck in some of the hoppers and they don't seem to be moving through. And I can't for life of me figure out what it is. So if you know anything that's a, a bug or any problem with the Tango Tech design, um, please let me know because I'm not aware of what it is. But uh, basically, I've got a stuck... You see these torches are all on here. This one's off. And you can see it's blinking. Which means it's trying to cycle items through. Um, but some of these hoppers and things are just packed with stuff. It's not working right. Something's stuck. And from what I can see, all of the redstone looks perfect. So I'm going to try to investigate that a little bit more here in the next 10-15 minutes just to see if I can figure it out. And then we're going to start to work. So let me uh, let me get this all settled in and we'll get going. I've logged onto the camera account. This will um, is creative mode so I can fly around, I can do things. And what I did is uh, it was something that was stuck here in this, this uh, module. So I took out all the items that were stuck. And that was what was trying to be sorted. So there was tons of things in there. Um, you know, it needs to get sorted out. So what I did is I took that all out, and that's fine. 
Now I want to show you this really quick over here. This is my overflow area, things that I haven't sorted yet. And I can resort things. I can add more stuff. But if you look, it's all filled up until it gets to this chest here and we got a spot here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this beacon in. I have a spare beacon. This was mine. I had it from the uh, castle above. So I'm going to throw this in here and we're going to watch it go through. And I'm going to show you how this kind of works really quick here. We're going to put it in, and I'm going to fly up. Now, you can see that all the redstone on top is up, or is off, except for this one's blinking. And it blinks for a little bit for this first column, and it stops. And then it'll start blinking. This is for the second column. And then it'll stop, and it'll go over to the next module, and now it's this column. So I can monitor this going through the entire system, making sure it works. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through. Okay, here's the second column. All of the modules are like that, so I can watch it, and it should get all the way over to here and blink on the second set and then get into the chest and be done. And over here is where the problem was. Something was going on. It, somehow it got stuck. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it was the chunk unloaded at one point when I wasn't ready or something happened. I'm not sure. So here we go. It should be coming over to here. There it is. And I didn't change any of the redstone in this. All I did was unload everything out, and it seems to be like it's working. There's the second column, and I will go to this one and pass the stuck point. Okay, let me, uh, now that we're past, let me just uh, make the video go a little faster until we get to the end. Okay, we're in the last column, and it's going blinking a little bit, and it should go into a spot, and it should be sorted now, and we should see, I think it was this last chest here, and there's the beacon. Excellent. So this appears to be working fine. It worked and sorted all the way through. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through over here. I'm going to put all these items into the system with the beacon being last, knowing that it will be the last thing that shows up so I can make sure that it gets back to that point. And we'll make sure this all sorts out. Now, I'm also hearing a zombie sound. I want to double check if there's a zombie down here. I'm not seeing it. Okay. So let me go put that stuff in, and we're going to see if this will work. We're going to put it all in. We're going to give it a little test run. Everything seemed to work fine once I did that. I cleared it all out, and then, uh, yeah, everything showed up. And I, I cleared out this so it's not glass anymore. But basically, the beacon came out at the last item. So what I want to do, though, I think here is because I have no way of knowing or seeing when it's working. But if you recall, we had that blinky redstone up there. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put some redstone lamps. So let me grab some of these. Okay. And we're going to go and put that on top. And maybe I can see it, hopefully. Let's go check this out see if we can. Let me grab some dirt. Okay, so we can kind of pillar up from down here. Um, well, I could guess I could do it up there too. Uh, I want to be able to get up and up there and see if I can see the. Oh, that's the wrong block to use. Haha. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, get over to it. Okay. Like up here, I want to see if I can maybe make a way that I can see the lamp. You see what I'm saying? So if I'm down here, is that lamp visible? And it is. So if I put those all around up top, I will be able to see exactly what's going on. And that's useful. That's very useful. So let me go do that real quick here, and then we're going to move on to what I really wanted to do for today. I had to make a small change with the indicators, but they're uh, all set up now. So here I'm going to put away these uh, 12 um, redstone lamps that I have. So when you go in here, you put them in. There it goes. They'll go through the system, and then the indicators will start blinking when the module is in use. Works great. And then as it switches to the other modules, you'll see it start to light up the next light. It's just going through the system. That's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, that's it seems to be working fine. Come on, light up. There it goes. So it's going to cycle through the system. 
So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get ready to go and work on the um, elevator. So we're going to need some pistons. We're going to need some redstone. I'm trying to get there before the system gets here. Okay. And we'll need some stone blocks. I don't want to take things out when the system is running. So I kind of wait until it gets past. I just don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some more materials. We're going to start to go and rip that stuff up and put it in the elevator that we want. This is based on a design by Momo Jumbo that he posted yesterday. It's a very simple elevator. uses a redstone block, which I will need to get in a second. And, uh, yeah, I can probably get that if I hurry. It hasn't hit the other module yet. So let's uh, grab some block. Here we go. Anyway, we're going to work on that next. I'm up on the roof of the second floor, and I like what they did with the tower. But I really want the tower to start here. I really would like to have... Let me go back down and I'll show you. I really would like to have the, the second floor have like a balcony area or like a viewing area for the first floor. So if a person is standing on here, I want them to be able to see down into this area. That was kind of my goal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this entire uh, area that's right here. And we're going to make this floor be up here. Okay? And that's where we're going to start off. So I'm just going to try to clean this up to what I kind of envision and this is a community a bill we've been working on some things i mean obviously it's my castle but everybody's working on it and i don't mind people working on things like this even and i think that they don't mind me changing it up for what i feel and the purpose is for it um the great thing about this is that you know we're working together we're having fun doing it it's that's what it's about it's not about so much about oh i built something and i'm i have pride in my work and you destroyed it um it, you know you just leave that outside you, you work on things together and you make some ideas and you might something find something out that uh, you like that's even better than what you could have done so that's uh thankful that they did this like i said i'm just going to change it to what i think i would like so let me get this done here let me get this all cleared out and get the floor basically set up and then we'll uh yeah we'll keep on going so let me just get to where i think i should be and then we'll start work okay now when i come in from the entrance here i like that you can look up now the ceiling here, I can work on this and play around with it. I do like how it looks. Um, there's some things I need to change, like making this another iron bar, maybe making the whole thing uh, stone brick for all I know. Maybe stone brick slabs might even be better. But this is a lot better. I like the way it looks. Um, it's looking really nice. So if we go up here on this floor now, and I still have to put in the, the fences here, but you can look down into what's going on into this room. Okay, And that was kind of the goal. Um, and then when you want to get up to the next floor or the roof, if you will, um, you go up here. And I like what they've done here, putting in this walkway. Oops, except for that part. Uh, but when you go up into here, this is kind of neat little entrances they've put in, which is great. And even have a spare room up here. Excellent. But anyway, this will be an area where you'll go in. And I'm going to take out the stairway here. I'm going to continue this going up. And this is where the elevator will be. So you walk in. Here's the elevator. It'll take you up to the top part, which is where I eventually will put the nether portal for sure. The nether portal is really nice. I like it. It's a little bit big. Um, and plus, I'm probably going to be going up anyway. So I want to uh, probably move it and put something else in. So let me just uh, start tweaking this out some more. Well, it looks like I've run into a little bit of a snag here. <laughs> I wanted some uh, oak slabs. And we have one extra. So I said, okay, let's go get some oak planks. And I have no spare oak planks. So I said, okay, we'll make that from logs. And we have no spare oak logs. So it looks like I'm going to be go plant some oak trees here. So I do have a plenty of those. We'll have to start planting some stuff up and get some oak because we need it. So uh, I need to get an automatic tree farm of some sort. But this will work for now. We'll just go outside. We'll plant this and we'll wait for it to grow. And while it's growing, we'll do some more of the builds of other things. So... Yeah, that happens, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to probably plant over here. We'll just start spamming these things around. Yeah, you know, typical tree farm. And we might even leave some of these trees. It depends on how they look and things. But mostly I'm going to take it down because I need to get some oak. Yes, here we go. Okay. We'll be back in a little bit. It's going to be a lot of fun doing this elevator, if I ever get to it. <laughs> I've done some work on this section. I've replaced all of this with half slabs down here. And you can see we have the corners. i got to go up and clean all that up. I haven't done that yet. But I've got the corners here 
basically they just like we have on the first floor we have little like footers that come out of the center columns and behind each one of these I should go right here we've got like a little space a little nook so there's a nook on each of the sides you can see that and that's kind of what I'm going to do for the tower going up so I'm going to start to clear out the upper part of the tower and then we're going to put in the elevator the elevator is going to be back against this wall so you'll come into the room here and then this is right here is where we'll have the elevator um, or maybe I'll do it on the side because it's really a, an odd number elevator so maybe I will do it on the side that might be a better way to do it well I can't do that either I'll have to figure out a way to do this so that it looks right um, but yeah it's gonna look uh, uh, really great when I get it done so let me continue on and show you in a couple steps in a couple minutes instead of finishing up the tower and cleaning that up I decided I really wanted to get the elevator in and that way I can know the height that I want and then work my way up to that so here is the elevator it's a design like I said from mumbo jumbo and I'll put the link to that in the, in the description um, but it's a very simple design using pistons and sticky pistons and some simple redstone and I'm going to show you basically how it works now I haven't enclosed the front of it yet um, it sticks out a little bit and I you know you could fall off there's other things that could go wrong but I haven't made it look better I haven't decorated it but basically you would come over here and for right now I have this is where you have some redstone blocks and that's how it is works so what you do is you come up here okay now you gotta go kinda like halfway in and you put a piece of redstone right here and when you do that it'll take you all the way up but you gotta kinda like put it in and step forward so let me do that really quick you ready so I don't get squished in the uh, top here but it's raising us all the way up and I did okay so that didn't quite work right um, but that's the idea and then when you, I got you know like I said I gotta make it better by having some um, like glass or something here so you don't go into it so you okay anyway when you're all the way up there then you can take the chute all the way down into water to come down and that's the idea so uh, let me uh, fix this up a little bit better so it doesn't kill you and then uh, we'll keep on going from there we're gonna try this again I have enclosed the front of this so it looks a lot better this probably won't even be seen um, in the tower because I'm going to build the frame around it. I also added an emergency ladder so that you can get up there if you need to or down. And also we have the water there. So what you do is you go up here, you get up on this top step. And what I found is it actually works better is if you sneak backwards. You know how it stops you right there? And then not this block that you're on, but the one right below it, you put a piece of redstone. There you go. And you're going all the way up. A little noisy. We're almost there and then when you get to the top you go ahead and you break the block now the block should fall all the way down get caught by the hopper and go into the chest that's over there and then you know you do whatever you're doing up here and when you're done you come over here and you just fall down and there we go so if I go around here and I gotta clean this up and figure out a better way for this right there but there's our extra block so let me do that one more time just to show you basically you go up here you sneak backwards, put one block below, and there you go. Works every time. Now, when people go into this, you need to make sure that you can see that there is no block, nothing blocking you, because if you do, you'll hit your head in this, and then you'll be completely stuck, and that's very, very bad. Let me block that out. There it goes. Go down. Okay, so here we go up to here. Come on, get me through. Like I said, I gotta clean this up a little better. The block is already in there. Great. Like I said, you gotta look up too. I haven't been doing that. But you gotta make sure there's a spot open there. I might put a light or something so people can see it. And if it's not there, then you know that uh, you can't go up. So it's gonna get dark here. I'm gonna go sleep and I'm gonna start working on the outside of this tower and getting that all set up. I spent some time decorating. And now the tower looks like this. Looks kinda cool. I like the way it looks. Um, it's a nice big tower and they made a circle and it looks like my circle is light, slightly off. i got to put another block there. But uh, basically it looks like a tower. And the elevator, you can kind of see through. There's a layer of glass here. There's also a glass layer inside of it. And then from up top we're going to be putting a, another portal. And we're also going to be making uh, like a glass room that you can see out and see the area. That's what I wanted to have is a nice visual area 
that you can see. So if we're gonna do this again, we're gonna go on up, stand up here, you back up, place a block. Noise happens, a little bit of uh, visual lag. And there we are, we're all the way up on top of the tower. And then you blow away this brick. There you go. Now you, it's nice up here that I can see everything and that's what I want to have. I want to be able to look out and see the area and uh, see what's going on, okay? Does that make sense? So right now what I want to do is I want to make a portal up here. We're going to do that. We're going to make add glass around here, make this look okay. And this would also be a great place for an elytra like, takeoff because I can just jump off and can fly over here. Let's go over towards the, uh, the beacon here and see if we can how this tower looks. See, I like the way that looks. Okay, so let me uh, work on fixing this, making it look a little better, put the portal in, everything else. The video's getting kind of long, so I wanted to make this a little bit quicker, so let me uh, get that started, and I'll be back. And I think it's done, except for I haven't lit the portal yet or put up some signs, that sort of thing. I was just on the camera account uh, helping out uh, Thomas, who's been looking at it. And uh, yeah, he like, said I need to use how to use this and let other people know how to use it. So yes, I'm going to be probably be doing that. But it looks really nice. I like that this tower... It looks really cool with that. What I've done is I've created the space up there with a with the nether portal, and that's where the elevator takes you up to. And then I put a, uh, on the ceiling floor, obviously I have a roof, but the roof has openings, and the openings are there so that you can land. So if I grab some rockets here, let's see if I can take off and get up there, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ah, man, not very good at taking off still. There we go. So my idea was, is if I get enough height here, that you're, you can um, land. I'm still not good enough height, but you could land inside of these pockets here. Just like that. Okay. And then you can go in down here, go down a floor. Let's see if I can get down the ladder. Come on, let me down. There we go. And this is the viewing area. This is where the portal is. I haven't lit it. Like I said, I want to uh, disconnect the other one and light this one up so that way I can uh, have it linked up correctly in the nether. So there we go. You can walk around. You can go ahead and you can view everything. It looks really nice. And I have the emergency ladder here. I have the way down, which will take down. Okay, and that works out. I changed this to be just a ladder. So uh, we go over here. We'll grab a block, even though I had some on me. You'd go up. Sneak backwards, put it one block below where you are, and there we go. So yes, this is a mumbo design, as Thomas just pointed out. Um, works really well. Has a couple little kinks that you got to be careful of, and that's getting on board. Everything else, once you're going, it's usually okay. The other thing is you got to make sure that this block is destroyed immediately. Uh, anybody else trying will then hit that and they'll be stuck in the elevator. And I'm sure it's going to happen on my server, but um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all I have time for today. I want to get started editing this video before I head out uh, for some other appointments that I have today. So, I'd like to say thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And again, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.